Yo, today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Your online activity should not be public. So protect yourself at expressvpn.com slash achievement. Welcome to Off Topic, the Achievement Hunter podcast. I am your temporary host, Jack Patillo. I'm joined by a lot of friends today. But hey, don't forget, uh, am I, is this a sp- I don't usually do this. Am I supposed to say this is sponsored by somebody? I don't know. We have, we have sponsors. There we go. ExpressVPN. It's brought to you by ExpressVPN. Are you working from home right now? You should use ExpressVPN today. ExpressVPN.com slash Off Topic for more information and getting lots of time for free. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Off Topic. I'm Jack. I'm joined by Trevor and Matt and special guest Echo Chloe. Hey, Chloe, what's Hi. up? How's it going? How's it hanging? Your name right? <laughs> if, yeah. he's, if he's just referring to your name, he'll say Chloe. And then when, mm-hmm. he, when he uses your screen name, he says Echo Chloe. It yeah. drives me. It, she, she said she has two different <laughs> versions of her name. And it's just one's fine. Chloe or well, Chloe. Jack, John, <laughs> come on, calm down. Oh, Jack. People can have two versions. Anyway, <laughs> good. her name. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. We're live right now, by the way. So if you're watching oh. on roosterteeth.com, you click on that live button and uh, watch this live. You can jump in chat. We got chat open right now. All the people are screaming furt in chat because oh, they're furt, furt members. Furt, the furt. Furt. Trevor, we got a special treat for furt <laughs> members, don't we? <laughs> Jesus <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Thank you for tuning in live here today. We, uh, for you furt members, and no, it isn't a vocal typo, for you furt members only, Right now, as of right now, there is a Furt shirt if you want to get in there and uh, get a little bell. Ding! There you go. That way you never forget to support Furt and to to give a little shout out at Furt. And this is just a little nod to say, hey, world, I'm Furt and so can you. And people are like, what the hell does that mean? Or, hey, your shirt has a misspelling (laughs) on it. They're like, (laughs) yeah, it does. Hey, so that's also, the furt shirt. I'm just saying, while you're while you're in the store grabbing your furt shirt, why don't you grab yourself an annual pass shirt as well? We've got four colors and the and the sort of basic shirt. Uh, two of those colors go up to four XL, and then we also have our ringer shirt as well, which is pretty nice—a black and white ringer shirt. So grab that too while you're there. And if you haven't listened to annual pass it, give it a shot. It came out this morning. I'm pretty uh, pretty proud of it, and the response so far has been pretty good. I've got a feeling that more people might want to listen to it. You can go to bit.ly slash annual pass, annual pass underscore EP one. Make sure to capitalize a P E and P <laughs> because <laughs> bitly is weird like that. Capitalize anyway. all those P's. Who did yeah. the underscore ep one? I don't know. I want to get Some, to the bottom of this. Someone, uh, someone in marketing. I don't know. I didn't make mm-hmm. that one, but anyway, well, it's, it's on all the podcasts. You have a, you have a Twitter handle, right? Annual Pass Pod probably is my guess. Annual underscore pass, actually. <laughs> hey, some... that's clean. I go. like that better. That's good. Yeah, no, dude, that Trevor. Really when, for, okay, two things happened. First of all, uh, the fact that Legal cleared Annual Pass as a podcast name was like, holy crap, I can't believe we landed that. And then mm-hmm. uh, second of all, when I was looking for Twitter and Instagram, I was like, okay, what? Well, nothing's going to be available. And then I searched like Annual Pass Pod, AP Pod. Um, annual P pot, like all these different variants. And then I did annual underscore pass and was empty. And I'm like, what? And then I checked Instagram and it was too. And I'm like, what are the odds of that? So uh, yeah, we managed to snag both of those. So you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I posted a cute little photo of me riding uh, the Texas giant when I was a kid uh, with my father. So that's up on the Instagram account right now, Instagram.com slash annual underscore pass. So check it out. Nice. I, it's real I could, good vibes, dude. It's people. it's nice to to listen to that podcast because it like you say it in the podcast, but it reminds me of walking into Disney. No matter when I've walked in the first time or the most recent time, it's always like the nostalgia washes over you. It's like mm-hmm. the, you know the happiest place. It's just it's so carefree and lighthearted mm-hmm. and positive, and I love it. God, it's, I miss it's, it so much. Are you a big theme park fan, Chloe? Oh yeah. Which ones, which parks have you gone to? I'm not trying to like qualify, like how dare you, but oh, okay. I'm just curious where, where you've gone. <laughs> how dare you? Are you really like a theme park things. fan? <laughs> I'm, this is how I'm being tested. Uh, I've been to Disneyland and Disney World, and I've been nice. to Universal in Orlando. Nice, nice. See, I can already qualify that Chloe is, in fact, 
a theme park fan because she clarified Disneyland and Disney World, which mm-hmm. are two different places. So yep. good job. I pass. Props to you. Props <laughs> to you. You've succeeded. You are allowed okay, to stay on here, off topic the rest of the okay, day. Okay, cool. All right, thank let's God. write this down. Just to, <laughs> anyway, oh my. Just some quick notes. But no, it's, uh. I, I, yeah, I love theme parks and, you know, the fact that I'm able to do an entire podcast on it means a lot to me. It was very, very cool that, uh, you know, I got this opportunity and, uh, and so far people seem to be enjoying it. And so hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys are psyched and are ready to hear more. I, I just, I've listened to the second episode a couple of times and, um, Jeff threw out an idea yesterday to me for the second episode for something to do on it. And now we added that in and holy crap, it is elevated to the next level. And I'm really excited for you guys to hear about it and hear it next week. So there you go. But anyway, that's enough of me doing self promotion. I've get, well, I'll stop doing that. And instead let's talk about red web and how awesome a podcast that is. <laughs> let's hey, keep chilling. Uh, pass. No, okay. it, it exists. Uh, I want to take a beat. Cause like, this is something that, you know, I've seen this in the audience and in the comments before, and we we've had Chloe, you know, we've had you in streams and in some videos and whatnot, but I figured that this would be a really good moment to stop and like, get to know Chloe a little bit, get, let the oh, audience yeah. get to know Chloe a little bit better. Okay. Um, I know, I know you've done some streaming. I know mm-hmm. you're, you're like, queen of the memes i love your twitter <laughs> your twitter feed um oh, thank you but i'd love for you to like kind of talk a little bit about yourself and like how you entered this space and maybe like i don't know how you found ah and, and whatnot okay i mean yeah i feel like all of this started because i found ah like ages ago it was i think it was a rage quit that i found and then from that i think it was like a gta that i like started watching i was like oh these guys are funny and then i fell off briefly and then came back when I like kind of started streaming more, which was about two years ago now, I think is when nice. I started uh-huh. streaming nice, like yeah. regularly. Yeah. So and then I don't know how all of this happened. And suddenly I'm on shows and I'm like, if only I could go back to like old, like high school. <laughs> right. Like, hey, look at what you're doing now. You did. You did, you did it. Quit school. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Quit school. That's Matt and I. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Go Dude, back, Matt, like, like what's up? that's that's so crazy. I I don't know why I think about this all the time now lately, but I think often back to I can visualize it perfectly. My my college room that I was in with like all the old furniture, all the old wood furniture that Grandma had, and us jumping in a Skype call for the first time to play video games. Because because Chloe, Matt, and I, uh, as you might know, are basically the same kind of story, you know. Just yeah. uh, stumbled yeah. into AH one day and then woke up here. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. Here? Hold on, are we being abducted? <laughs> are we, are we, we, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much the same for me, too. I was a big fan yeah. of Achievement Hunter and, uh, you know, liked it, watched a Rage Quit, and I was like, hey, I want to work there someday. No, that's not how Crazy. it went at all. And that's. Oh. that's <laughs> <laughs> He no, actually I, was was a huge fan of Rooster Teeth, and he posted mm-hmm. up outside, made a tent and everything, I did. and he just kept saying, okay. "Hire Jack, hire I, Jack." And they said, I "Who remember, the hell is that guy?" I remember the, the first guy? the first time I met Bernie Jack? was at I was at a poker game, and uh, oh, yeah. I was just like a college kid, and he, you know, at that point, Rooster Teeth been around for a while, and like he came in and just he had extra cash, and I was a broke ass college kid, and he scooped a pot for me that was like eighty bucks. And it just crushed me. And I was so pissed at him and I hated him for so, <laughs> for so long. And then slowly, I like, eventually became friends with him again. But uh, your story is anyway. Bernie made me destitute. And now I work. <laughs> I was like, he had this nice house and a successful company. And I was like a broke kid sharing an apartment with like three people. And I was like, okay, my $20. Okay, here we go. And I, like it was an $80 pot. And I had it. And then he, anyway, it was a whole thing. It was so. <laughs> No, it is it is wild, like, seeing how, how much, you know, Achievement Hunter has evolved and how far we've come from when we started from, you know, being the small little group to to doing all the stuff we've done now. It, it's wild, and I'm so happy to see the iterations. And, I mean, not, not to sound bad, but, like, it feels to me like Rooster Teeth is, like, completely, it's, it's unimaginable where we've come. And I had no idea we'd end up where we are now. Like, if, you know, starting back when I started, if you told me that we were going to be primarily an animation company and like be making shows for HBO or HBO now, which is like, a, or HBO Max, Max. which is saying does it doesn't even exist anymore or didn't even exist back then. I'd be like, wait, what? And making feature films and stuff. It, it's wild. So it's, it's, it's really cool. And I like that now it feels like um, this next generation of talent and, and, and people have kind of stepped in and sort of taking the reins of what Rooster Teeth is, and we're transforming, and I, and I love seeing how things are are different now, and uh, and that's really cool to see the, the evolution of the company, and I'm I'm proud to be standing kind of 
off to the side just being a, a proud papa at this point and, uh... <laughs> proud papa. yeah yeah dude i mean even in matt like our time being here i feel like everything is yeah just uh just completely different. unrecognizable in 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 like a good way just like i i couldn't have fathomed where you know i would have gone individually but as a team where we would have ended up like yeah hunting ghosts like in england like, <laughs> yeah. for, so strange so strange because i used to love all those old ghost shows uh like ghost adventures and taps and all of that and so uh what, what do you mean old well there's new episodes I mean, come on they're still come going on. they're still <laughs> <Yeah>. going <laughs> that's true why old people keep dying there's going to be more ghosts people keep dying. <laughs> see, that's, see that's why we're in the market yeah. People keep dying. People keep dying. We, we, got, we got more we got and more like them, nonstop you know? influx of ghosts. Just keep them coming. <laughs> yeah. But even like, my, well, I mean, one of my favorite things though is like seeing like Rooster Teeth's influence on other individuals and in like the gaming world. And for for me personally, like Extra Life, I see people. So many people tell me they watched our Extra Life events, and that's what got them into Extra Life. And now they're doing their own things. And you yeah. know, even someone like like I mean, like Trevor and Matt, like you guys, like you were fans, and you slowly worked your way up to here. And even Chloe, like it's like that's that's so neat to me that kind of our our you know positive vibes has spread out into the into the the ether and have helped other people and helped get them to a goals even like i mean freaking someone like lannon like laser beam out in australia it's like knowing his how he went from you know just visiting our office to going like oh i can do that and then now he's the most one of the most popular youtubers in existence it's like that's pretty badass like that dude crashed on my couch <laughs> and I was like, yeah it's wild and now man. you can sell the couch for millions i know yeah. i know <laughs> lannon's ass was right here right there so it's it's really cool and and Chloe I'm I'm glad that you could be hanging out with us now and uh, hopefully you know you're not intimidated by Matt he's he's a it's true. very pretty intimidating, intimidating he's the office guy. security yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. oh okay. I, I do the Oculus pat sense. down every day you know make gotcha. so, sure everything's yeah. safe so what what sort of triggered you wanting to do streaming stuff was it just like oh this looks like fun or was it just with friends how, how did that end up happening yeah it just looked fun and I was like oh I want to try that and I think my very first stream I tried doing was Viva Pinata. Nice. And I was oh, like, dude. oh, this was really fun. It was like one person in chat. I'm like, you know what? I enjoy this and I'm going to keep doing it. And then I don't remember what I played after that. And then it was like a Doki Doki Literature Club stream of that went well. <laughs> I had no idea where that was going. So that was fun for me. And I don't like horror either. So that was really great. <laughs> oh, my it God. It sneaks up on you, that one. It, it, it did. It did. Yeah, that was Wait, scary. Man. Wait, I thought Doki Doki Literature Club, wasn't that the pigeon one or is that a different one? What's <laughs> I think what? you're talking about like the the bird dating game, right? Yeah. Oh. I could picture it. I don't oh. remember what it's called though. Hold on, let me, let me Google bird date game. Bird dating game. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, that, that yeah. Get that in your Google weird. history right there. Hatful <laughs> boyfriend. That's it. Hatful. Oh, that one. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, back I in oh. I almost I said O oh, fourteen. <laughs> back in the year O oh, fourteen. O oh, fourteen. I mean, technically that'd be true, right? I guess so. Yeah. Two O oh, fourteen. Weird the weirdest way of phrasing it. Yeah. Okay. Oh god. Yeah. I think after that I found like my like audience with uh streaming Star Wars Battlefront 2, the newer one. And then okay. Yo, we got to play some time. Wait, let's do it. The whole I'm brand terrible. of like General Grievous kind of started there and here I am just known as the <laughs> weird girl that really likes General Grievous and robots. You, so, okay. That's yeah, a explain, great explain segue. This. Explain this. Break <laughs> this down for me. Is it is it the breathing? Is it the fact that he's organically just organs and some eyes? The wet is it, is it the metal? He's is it that cool he's just hell. rock solid? Is it his height? He's like a general. One. He's like seven yeah, he's got, one. He's got power. Well, he's, he's like seven, seven foot one. He's like seven one before he stands up, right? I, I don't even know. Are you talking about he's seven he's, one he's like at the like, top of his hunch? Yeah, he's like, like his little back yeah. over and he's like, yeah. Wait, is, yeah. is this and like is this like another? Big, you know, is this like a Resident Evil like like giant vampire lady type situation? Like, do, do people want Grievous to step on them? Like, I don't know how that works. Is that, yeah, is that a they thing? They don't want it, but it happens. If it happens, <laughs> if he stepped on me, tripped over me, that's fine. It happens. <laughs> if wow. he happens to roll me over like a steamroller, you know, it just happened, you know? Exactly. It's like, Take oh, no, what a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank me up you. A I mean, he also, he's, he's got the, like, the blizzard thumbnail too. It's my yeah. day. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I, I stand by it, though. I think Grievous is a really dope character. And, he's uh, really cool. Like, when I was a kid, that was, like, that was cool. 
Mm -hmm. oh, but yeah. also like the lore behind him as they've built yes. out that character and built out Clone Wars and stuff. It, he's actually a really badass character. And mm -hmm. like, oh, yes. we don't talk about it enough. Yeah. He's not just a handsome <laughs> face, <laughs> Chloe, right? Yeah. Exactly. You he's more than depth. a sexy robo alien. <laughs> Did you did you ever did you ever watch that like 2D animation? Uh it was like right before uh episode three came out. Yeah, yeah. It had yeah. Grievous in it, but I think it was done by uh, the people that made Samurai Jack. What's that? Yeah, yeah it's hard it's Tartakovsky Tart stuff. Yeah. 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 It was oh my God, really so good. good. That that made Grievous look yes. like a fucking badass. And I was like, oh he yeah. Sick in that show. Yeah, uh, it's on Disney Plus now. So yeah. The okay, I know my plan. Just, I, do, I do remember like the, it was a kind of a weird contrast. You see him in that, and it's like he's jumping through doing explosions mm -hmm. and all this stuff. And that's like you see him in the movies, like. <laughs> and what happened to you? We have to stop. <laughs> yeah. Matt, that and was the answer, beautiful. The answer, Chloe, was war. War happened. <laughs> that's yeah, true. Mace, yeah. Mace Windu got he to did, him. He yeah. did get to him. And then like the later Clone Wars 3D animated happened. It's mm -hmm. like. Oh, you're just like a little punk bitch. What'd they do to you? Look how they massacred my boy. <laughs> look, look what they did to my boy. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't he? You know, he never saw um Anakin in that show. Nope. It yeah, like they kept comical. it. They kept it, was, it canon it's... that like because like oh, in the God. in the movie, Anakin's like, oh, I I thought you'd be taller. I've never seen you before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he didn't see him the entire show. It's like no. eight seasons, right? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. I didn't it, even process so that. Never. Until this I think moment. there was once where like they were both like prisoners and being traded, mm -hmm. but like Anakin was unconscious. Yeah. So that's still, like the closest he, he right got. Past other. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Grievous went. Shh. Just, not yet. Anything. You, not you yet. Can't know how tall I am for the line later. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. This will make sense <laughs> later. This will make sense script. later. Don't worry about it. Yeah. There it. he is uh, from the the show. Hey. That's, that's yeah. Awesome. Looks so good. It's great. Yeah, this is uh he, where Mace like a door with a head. Force. <laughs> clenched his uh, his rib cage right or his yeah. his, his robo rib kit whatever yeah. <laughs> his exoskeleton. He, looks like, he looks like a postmodern elevator like if you if you look at him like like an elevator like you would press the button and it'd be like bing and it was like oh there's a little head up there that represents the <laughs> no, what not okay. not intimidating at all it is i okay. the elevator allow me to enter <laughs> we can go he oh, opens up and there's like a lot of little boxes with tiny people going up and down. <laughs> I've got to carry the food down to the stomach. Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, Damn, there you guys are fast. Yeah. They are, yeah. Okay. They're just, They're just watching crushed. the show right now is really what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's where he goes. Yeah, <laughs> and that's when he starts going. <laughs> uh, and... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And what is this podcast that he's <laughs> we're talking about Grievous, man. how did we get here <laughs> Chloe, i'm sorry this just us? happens every how, time everywhere i go have... he comes he, <laughs> he follows me now, now you know <laughs> I look i see his face <laughs> did yeah. grievous happen to you or did you happen to grieve are you the uh the herald right mm -hmm. are you the silver surfer mm -hmm. to to uh general grievous i don't even know anymore it's a or, question, or is it vice versa? chicken or the egg I don't know anymore. <laughs> like, like, hey, you're like, did you happen to Grievous? Like, Grievous is like checking his like Twitter. Oh, yeah. She's, she's yeah, I'm popping it up again. God, oh shit! <laughs> what, I got to block this. Big G is trending. <laughs> big big G's, G, big double G. <laughs> oh man, this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by DoorDash. Quit getting into scuffles with everybody about what to get for dinner already. There's something for everyone with DoorDash. So quit the bickering. Let's eat. I enjoy eating. So that's good for me. DoorDash has over 300,000 partners in the US, Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia. So you'll never run out of new places to try, or you can keep hitting up your, you know, your reliables. That's, that's, you know, I'd probably go to the same three places over and over again. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now, right to your door. Plus ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, pick what you want from there where you want it and your order will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting you don't even have to talk to anyone that it just shows up you open your door boom food and now you can get even get grocery essentials with doordash too you can get drinks snacks and household items in under one hour this means no more fights about dinner and no more fights about the fact you forgot to pick up toothpaste at the store or shampoo or soap or all those things I've forgotten about. Anyway, uh, I, I know I like getting my DoorDash to deliver 
some delicious Panda Express right to my front door. It's super convenient to uh, get some orange chicken, some cream cheese, Rangoons. It's, oh, nom, nom, nom. it's very, very good. It's super convenient because I'll be working, checking emails, and oh, hey, food's here. Boom, there it is. Saves me a lot of time and trouble. For a limited time right now, our viewers can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code off topic 2021 that's 25 percent off up to a ten dollar value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the doordash app and enter the code off topic 2021 don't forget that's off topic 2021 for 25 percent off your first order with doordash subject to change terms apply all of that other legally stuff doordash oh god yes. well we were so, talking uh before the podcast about a couple movies that are coming out we're excited about Mortal Kombat, but yeah. we were also talking about um, Godzilla. What is it? What is the? Is it Godzilla vs Kong or Kong vs Godzilla? I don't know what the name it's, is actually. Godzilla vs Kong. Yeah, Godzilla but, gets bigger billing. I think it's know. Edge of Tomorrow is what it's called. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, Dyer Annual Pass. Change that. Live Dyer <laughs> no, Sorry, I got to mix yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that's a really. I, I don't know, man. It, like that was a really fun movie, and I was actually was. watching uh, Matt Pat's film theory on that before we did the podcast, which. I haven't even finished it, but he's breaking down the fact that apparently the movie has like uh, like five and a half hours of footage. And I don't know if this is a new trend thing that's happening, right? The Snyder Cut set something up mm -hmm. or whatever, but um, I'm kind of here for it. I, the, yeah. Not all the time, but I would love like extended movies. Like I'm talking Lord of the Rings director's cut, like three hours per pop sort of business, right? Where you you could have the truncated focused film right to standard uh, you know act one two three, but then like if you really want that nitty gritty if you want to get into the weeds without having like comics on top of stories or or shows on top of stories like Star Wars, you just have a longer edit of the movie, and I, I kind of like because we were talking about Jack um, uh... some of the characters. Well, I mean that's you know yeah, opinions, there's, there's but like you were talking about some of the char characters feeling unnecessary or like they didn't have any purpose being there and i feel mm -hmm. like and i don't know but like i feel like a lot of that hidden footage helps build out character stories right because it's a movie about monsters but in order to relate to the monster they have to have a proxy of a person to relate uh, to uh, hit me with it jack hit I, me I, with I, it. I i okay so i get that i get being like let's just make every movie three hours long not every movie yeah no uh, but it, it feels like that's the trend nowadays and that is i i don't i'm not a huge fan of that it's one of those things where it's like if you can't tell a succinct story in 90 minutes to maybe 120 minutes then you're you're not telling the right story like they just they get more and more elaborate i think lord of the rings kind of kicked off this trend of these these long ass movies where it's have just you read like, those books pal <laughs> no, <laughs> but still, i mean you watch return of the king and there's like nine endings it's like just pick an end and just stop you know that's well, fair. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Guess, hey, hey um, you're right mass effect only had three that's well the limit. Me, that being but that being said you're getting stuff like uh like falcon and winter soldier or wandavision where it's like if you want to tell a story like that there is out there are outlets to do that if you want to tell you know like take a character like something like I mean, like Falcon, Falcon's a, an awesome character, but it's like in the movies, he didn't really get sort of a proper backstory. Now he's getting eight hour, like what, six hours of content almost, or five hours of content. That fleshes him out incredibly in something that you couldn't tell that story in 90 minutes. And they're doing a really, really good job of it. And I, I, I respect that. But when it's like, let's make let's make every movie into the Snyder cut, where it's like a sure. four hour cut. Of, it's like, yeah. oh, come on. It's like, that's just... Now well, sort of lazy in my opinion. Here's the thing: is, like, is there's a lot more within the Snyder Cut conversation that isn't really worth diving into because obviously, you know, there was a different director that jumped on and the story got kind of changed yeah, up. Yeah, there's a lot of other things to pick into there. But to be fair, Snyder Cut was broken into like basically a series, and so you're either saying can Falcon and Winter Soldier be crushed into 90 minutes, in which case it should, or it here's five to six hours of Falcon and Winter Soldier, just break it up. I mean, you're getting it. You're getting that. That's already yeah. happening. And who's to say a movie has to be defined by whatever it has been? I mean, I mean, that, I don't know what that's came the... first: talk shows, yeah. TV shows, and movies. Mm -hmm. But like, there's always a new format sometime. It's well, okay. It's something. It, it's tricky because like, uh, 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 Snyder cuts uh, such a unique thing because like we didn't see his original cut in the theater. We didn't see what Snyder initially mm -hmm. had in the theater, and he would have. I mean, there is zero chance they release that version of the movie 
in theaters like just doesn't happen oh yeah like there, oh, there's God, no no, yeah. no way a movie no theater way. would be like i don't we'll think put a, a, a theater would want to because that would just yeah. be like that theater's tied up for like five hours yeah, yeah. nothing yeah. we can do and yeah. so like i i you know okay so a lot of people in the chat are talking about like epics and even like ben hur is like a super long movie but it's like i i, I appreciate stories that can be told you you know you have your three act structure you have a plot you have a, you know like here's your story you have a, a b and maybe a c story and then you're done and you just walk away and i i like that and i feel like now like it just it feels like movies that kind of drag and they tell stories that aren't necessarily intriguing it's just like oh we just got to put more up there like we just need more time like if a movie's not two hours long what's the point it's like no 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 mm -hmm. i feel down, that. you know yeah, i feel that I still i think there are definitely some movies that need the extra time where it's just like maybe yeah, some yeah stuff was happening but now we're just mm -hmm. hopping to here because like that's that's where we got to go to finish the story you, you know yeah. mm. Uh, yeah, and, then, and, that, and maybe those are great. Too. Yeah, yeah, and maybe those are great candidates for like the epic. But then you have like things yeah. like when I was younger, huh, I'm so old. The trilogy <laughs> became a much more popular format, and then Harry Potter yeah. happened, yeah. and then they said, ah, see, like series plus yep. one mm -hmm. always split the mm -hmm. last one and then twilight did mm -hmm. the same thing and then i started yep. going yeah. great are we going to like take everything and make it a series and then split the last one and really draw things out and i mean sometimes sure then, sometimes the hobbits mm -hmm. like hold my beer <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> right you know? i mean so uh, there's there's definitely like something to be said about what you're saying jack and like because i've been there where i've been like ah, i don't know if i want to go down like and make everything a series make everything just go yeah. uh 15 parts plus mm -hmm. one but yeah but I, I don't know you know like, pick and choose right people, and, and i think it's to just, me kong and, and godzilla i love those characters and i would i just would like to live in that world a little longer yes yeah. but at the same time there's stuff in that movie that you can look at immediately be like oh that's not important at all like i mean like mm. i I, lo I like millie bobby brown and i like the the character she was with her her friend in the movie he was in hunt for the wilder people and he's in deadpool mm -hmm. 2 that That's the the new zealand kid i love that guy <laughs> That entire subplot can be gone and does Weirdly, not affect the movie at all. Mm -hmm. And that's like a good 20 minutes. You can just pull out of the movie and just, yeah. like, yeah. all right. And Weirdly enough, I would feel like there, there's a, some comic relief in that part, too. Like, there's a little it's comedy true. with that. Yeah. I mean, a but little bit. I, mean, I, I, I get what you're saying, where it's like, it's not necessary. It could definitely have been handled a lot faster. Yeah. But it is also like, yeah, you, you kind of need someone to be on Godzilla's side there. Uh, at least a little bit but uh, i think yeah. you know what we don't know is what was cut because i think this was already kind of underway before uh godzilla king of the monsters came out right and and so they probably made some tweaks but there's probably some heavy overlap that is no longer there between yeah. this movie and the mm -hmm. last one so they're like mm -hmm. uh we have we have these characters we have these plot points in here now we're gonna edit it to cut out some of those things but you're obviously gonna have some pieces in there that maybe now it doesn't make any sense for that they're there but they're they're baked in right maybe that's yeah. what happened i see i see a lot yeah, of people right. in chat talking about how like there's a lot of stuff in the snyder cut that be cut that could actually be cut yes 100 percent. i agree there's that movie breathes like there, there's, oh, yeah. there's oh, yeah. so yeah. much really? just just <laughs> like this patter in there that's just like okay we get it and i th i mean like in like the, these epic shots and there's some really cool stuff but there's a lot of stuff it's like we why why are we in slow-mo on this like like the whole i mean i get like the whole berry scene where it's him at the like getting a job at the dog place is like okay it's a cool sort of a way to experience it, like his sort of i mean we haven't really at this point we hadn't seen the flash do anything yet so it's like all right that's an interesting way to sort of establish what he can do but it's all gone and the, and the initial or in the, the theatrical release and i was like okay yeah i could i could we could have gone without that and a lot of stuff with and, and, and like the weird singing stuff with aquaman yeah that, the woman that, that sniffing was one of the his sweater that... and like he's... i mean you saw little mermaid what? you should have known that was coming <laughs> so <laughs> i don't i mean I'm, there. but i mean it's it's to me it's when you see a director cut of a movie that to me is just like oh they just they just want to put in extra stuff like they just want to get lazy with the edit in my opinion and so lazy like, i don't know that i've seen a director cut of a movie that made it better you know like unless mm. it's something where like very clearly the studio messed with something to like let's release this version you look at the like, spider-man 3 like the, the sam raimi spider-man 3 it's like i bet there's a director cut version of that movie that would be incredible but we're not going to see it you know and anyway I, I director's cut to me just like always oh, threw in more stuff that i liked but i didn't have the time to Short, like shorten down or make it succinct so anyway well i, I can definitely feel that man I, I think it's more like 
I, I you remember back in the day when they would they would have like DVD releases where it would be mm. like, yeah, we've got like 48 hours of special features and stuff, <laughs> stuff you yeah. can't see in the theater. No one buys that anymore. Mm, no. So I think what they're trying to do is be like, yeah, we just put it in the movie. So yeah. you have no choice. Yeah, just, you, just, you're just gonna watch, watch it. it. It's gonna happen yeah, to you. It's yeah. gonna happen. You, you want to watch it because we put so much that watch it. Like oh, go watch it. Yeah. All right. I when I was a kid, I used to see like I used to love those features. I'd go to the Harry Potter DVDs, find the Easter eggs, and then go to the <laughs> deleted scenes, and I'm like, this is a 30 second deleted scene. Leave that bitch in. But I know. I, I get it now, I guess. But I, yeah. I definitely okay. do remember like it's the Spider Man two. I think Spider-Man I remember them great. It was. It was. It was really good. I just remember them talking so much about like, yeah, the DVDs got like hours and hours, like two days worth of special features. I remember going to school and being like, oh yeah, I'm going to take, I'm going to take a day off when that, that comes out. <laughs> I, I got sick like the day before that. And everyone just thought like, he, he did it. He took the day off. <laughs> he watched all of it. Mad man did it. All right, I will, I I will like, yeah, say. I had a fever of 102. I did not watch any oh. of that shit. I will say people, people in the chat are, are saying uh, the director's cut of uh, Blade Runner. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. But that's definitely the exception to the rule. All right. I mean, Ridley Scott made him say, uh, sell himself an amazing movie. But anyway. Mm. Yeah. So sorry. Anyway, Chloe. So how'd you get yeah. into gaming? Oh God! Uh, <laughs> from when I was born, I think. Back to the interview. <laughs> yeah. She was the watching interview. the Sonic the Hedgehog yeah. movie with all the special <laughs> features. Exactly. I was thinking about where are the rest of the Sonic characters and waiting. Um, well, what, what, what's your What's your game of choice? Like, do you have a game that you? I mean, you you talked about Battlefront. Is that is that your 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 favorite, or do you have one that's like your game? Uh, it used to be. I just kind of got burnt out on that by playing it way too much and streaming oh, it all the time. That'll happen. So that's what happened there. Um, nowadays, it's a lot of Apex, and I got back into World of Warcraft. So that's oh. all of my time. Oh, oh my I World of Warcraft's ended. dangerous. It's yep. dangerous. Yep. Chloe, I just ended my subscription. I had to. Oh, I wasn't really? playing as much, but like this last expansion, Shadowlands was mm -hmm. awesome i was trying to get jack in there it's really cool yeah what oh, class man. did you roll i have a shadow priest right now and then a hunter and i can't decide which one i want to be my main because i have so much hunter. fun with both of them hunter hunter, hunter. all right hunter. okay which <laughs> yeah. side are, are you horde or are you wrong a horde obviously okay good good yeah. for the horde, yeah. for the horde. Yeah. The horde. <laughs> all right good just making yeah. sure yeah, I mean, God. I don't really uh, uh, care which side. When I first used to play as a kid, I was like, I'll be a human. I'm a oh, human. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. You filth. Uh, you filth. Yeah. But now I, just, now I just play Horde because it's like everybody I play with is on the Horde yeah. side. Because the it's Horde's the, the best. It's the better team. I, I would love for you both to, to maybe, uh, Chloe, give me a little TED Talk here on the Horde side. Like, break it down for me because, like, <laughs> outside of the races, I you know, that you can choose from and the classes mm -hmm. they're in, you know, let's get into the nitty gritty of the war craft. Jeez, oh, <laughs> I'm probably the wrong person to ask because I like video games because I would sit next to my dad and watch him play it constantly. Like, I don't know what was going on, but I'm like, oh, this looks cool. I never actually played WoW myself until like, what, like two months ago or something? Oh, so, dude, no, uh, same. Uh, I, I, yeah. I don't mean to set you up like that. <laughs> I'm All the right, same. If, you, if you could, I, I want you to give me a good two hour uh, essay on why Thrall was the best war chief and how he was, uh, you know. Okay, okay, okay. I'll get to work on that right now. Um, Thank I you. can get that essay to you by the end of the day. Oh, it. the end of the day. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Damn. that doesn't give me a whole lot of time. Tomorrow. Yeah, you really, really should have. <laughs> you really should have given yourself tomorrow, some time. So it's perfect. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, God. Um, no, Horde. Cool. Alliance bad. That's my TED talk. <laughs> Excellent. I think that's I like you the hate efficiency. Well done. Yeah. well done. They should do TED snippets, you know, where somebody some that sounds like a, a salesman a if I ever I ah, it's me, I'm Ted, Ted Snippets. snippets. <laughs> uh but you yeah, they should learn do something and learn it fast. Hang on out with Ted Snippets. <laughs> Ted Snippets here. Yeah. yeah, they should do Ted Chats though, or you know, or Ted Text, where you sit mm -hmm. down, you know, everyone come on, get into Ted the auditorium, chat. and then they sit down. They got the popcorn or whatever the hell they do at these business conferences. <laughs> and then as soon as they're about to partake, a one line sentence comes across the screen and it's the thesis just in one sentence. This, mm -hmm. uh, the horde is better than the Alliance. Okay, done. All right, everyone That's get out. It. And get everyone's get applauding. Home. It's amazing. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Move me to tears. I would like to see some Ted snippets though. Ted mm -hmm. snips. Ted clips. We can do it. Let's make it a thing. 
Yeah. Yeah. Man. Matt, Plus did you ever get brains? A, did you ever get a wow at all, Matt? Uh so I couldn't play it when I was younger because uh <laughs> first of all, the internet where I was at was atrocious. And I also had like a computer that basically it it did its job, and that was that. <laughs> um I, I started playing a little bit because like Kent wanted to stream it with me one time and I played it and I immediately was like, I I have to uninstall this. This, this is <laughs> if if I fall into this, this is too much time yeah. that I, dangerous. I, I I can't do it. There, I never there play is, games uh, again. There is a, a, a window of of you being able to play WoW properly that everyone kind of falls into. My, mine was like uh, just after college when I didn't have a real serious job. And I was able, I basically played WoW for like two years straight. And it was like literally weekends. It'd be like, all right, 10 hours on Saturday, 10 hours on Sunday. And I got up to, to rating. I mean, I, I started on um, uh, uh, Cataclysm. That was my, my big jump. I, I started just before Cataclysm hit and then started playing Cataclysm nonstop for two years. And then I, I had to stop. I had to force myself to stop playing it because like I am, all I'm doing is thinking of, you know, like we'd go run raids over and over to get maybe one piece of armor if you were lucky and then yeah. then you'd you'd K, what is kps and all those different like just the rating thing it was it was a nightmare yeah. you guys so, measured off kps back in the dizzy isn't that it's all about it, that dps now no 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 no. it's like it's it's some kind of points so like there's D, dps obviously is damage you know damage per second but yeah then you have dots points yeah is that what it is? Is it? Is that what it? No, there's something like that. Like there was a way, you no would, idea. like we literally, our 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 guild leader would would track if you were in a raid, if you like, and they would rank by DPS, uh, how well you did, and you would get like a certain number of points. And then when a piece of armor would pop up, if it was like I was, you know, I was a mage, so it was like me and the other three mages. Whoever had the highest amount would get first dibs at whatever it was, and then you so would the rich spend get your richer. points. You would spend mm -hmm. your points on the the piece, and then you would fall to the bottom, and then it's like, all right. And anyway, I, I it's it's a whole. It, I got way too far into that it. makes it was, sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, this episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Me Undies. What's better than being swaddled in the softest, most comfortable fabric imaginable? Not much, but feeling comfortable in your own skin is definitely up there. I just learned out what swaddled means. That's why Me Undies uses both the softest fabric out there and makes their flattering, comfy undies and a whole bunch of limited edition prints so you can express yourself. Their whole thing is what you wear on the outside should empower you from the inside. I, I love my Me Undies. I've been getting them for a long time now. At one point, I ordered like a, a dozen Me Undies in a box. It was one of the best investments I ever made in my life. I love them. They're, they're super comfy. Once they started doing boxer briefs with the fly, you gotta have the fly. Come on, I, they have both versions. I prefer the fly, but you can get whatever you want. You know when you rush home to change into something more comfortable? That's me undies. It's like they pull clouds from the sky and spin them into undies, socks, bralettes, and loungewear. You can choose from endless styles from sizes extra small to 4XL. They're sustainably soft micro mod modal. Micro modal, I think is how you say it. And their new ultralight breathe fabrics are so comfy and well breathable. You can move free. Or not, it's up to you. You can just sleep if you want. MeUndies has a great offer for our viewers right now. For any first-time purchases, you'll get 15% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund it or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. To get 15% off your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash off topic. That's MeUndies.com slash off topic. That's like I the, always, the uh, same thing happened with me with uh, FF14. Like DKP, I, that's I, it. DKP, thank you, chat. There DKP. You I, I downloaded mm -hmm. it, made a character, and like ran around. I was like, awesome. I need to uninstall this right away. Like, <laughs> <laughs> cool. I, I no, love thanks. this. I love this so much, <laughs> and I, I'll be in it for forever. Like as as it is right now, I basically stay up until like four playing stuff because I'm like, I won't ever do it if I don't get to. <laughs> like, if right. I just, just yeah. wait. So, dude, that would take games, too much time. Oh, sorry, Matt. Those games no, no, with like 
the open-ended things like there's the story and there's campaigns mm. there's segments. the games that have the open-ended stuff those are the games that you just get lost in for me i yeah. spent way too much time with the chows in sonic adventure 2 <laughs> battle <laughs> copying Yo, okay. them to my my Absolute friend's game boy same. advance to get the gold eggs so you could get this you know and then you got to open up the the heaven and hell areas and then you want to mm -hmm. get like the sonic one you got to get all the different um evolutions right and then you get the uh the hellish ones with the little flame ball and then yep, you get the ones yep. with the ring uh because they're they're angelic or you just take one of your angels and chuck them around a lot and then they go straight from heaven to hell i don't know but i spent way too long in that game yeah grinding away at essentially nothing because it wasn't online there's was nothing to compete against except for the robot uh ones you know mm -hmm. trevor uh if i ever have like 10 or 15 minutes and that where I'm not doing anything, and I'm like, I, I've got to go do something in like ten minutes. I will load up Sonic Adventure Two, and I will like run a level and feed the Chow and be like, one year you're gonna be a chaos Chow. One year, Dude. <laughs> not, not, not one this day. year. One but, year. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I, I I know my time. <laughs> like, you, okay, okay. You're, you're not getting taken care of a lot, but <laughs> you're getting taken care a, of some. There was one level. Where you would go to the checkpoint, you'd run forward, you'd b bust open a couple boxes, and then you'd get the zebra, mm -hmm. and you restart the checkpoint and come back at the zebra again. I would do that until I filled up my, like, uh, I don't know how many things, like 10 things you could hold at once, mm -hmm. and then uh, come back and just yeah. feed all of the zebra. Like, because for some reason, the skeleton zebra, or the skeleton, whatever it was, uh, was was a good thing to use. I don't know. My friend was it, just it like, gave, that's the one to use. It gave a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, points on everything if i remember right probably the most I, efficient leveling yeah. up or something i i didn't give mine animals I, I didn't want them to look like freaks oh but you know well that one didn't give you anything because it was just a little it, skeleton thing that right? one i think took away actually yeah 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 this is stuff that jack has no idea what the hell we're talking about <laughs> oh i've i've tuned out yeah I tuned that, out that makes a while smart. welcome smart. to ted snippets yeah. <laughs> go ahead ted give us a little talk about sonic adventure 2 battle and the little pets you can have little chows the chaos drives have different colors that's what they do <laughs> thanks ted snippets that's another classic from our very own ted snippets uh, yeah we'll put him back Dad. in his coffin until we yeah. wake him up <laughs> He rises oh, from his like, slumber to give one sentence of information. It's like an oracle. Yeah. <laughs> like a, he's a snapple cap of a person. He just <laughs> gives one little fact and disappears. Yeah. I'm when imagining you, when him you... like similar to the Kool-Aid guy, except like he doesn't break through an outer wall. It's an interior one. Like he's already <laughs> in your house or something. Oh, you know? God. Like, Whoa. <laughs> how, how'd you do that? <laughs> God damn, Ted Snippets breaking the drywall again. <laughs> Ted Snippets are coming from inside the house. <laughs> I was you just entered the snip zone. Inside your wall. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> the snippet for the day is you have termites anyway <laughs> <laughs> the snippet of the day is someone should patch that hole and then he busts out another one as he leaves yeah. head snippets away <laughs> oh man oh god anyway oh man, oh, man. So Chloe, we're gonna need your best yep. head snippets impersonation for uh, add on top of the essay on the uh, the thrall essay. So go ahead and add that to your list. Okay, all right. Let me I should start <laughs> writing think... stuff down. Well, well no, yeah, just immediately just forget like, it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, uh -huh. Unless we'll you remember, the higher the grade. <laughs> right. That's how it works. That's uh, for yeah. snippets. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. You wait till wait till the last minute. You cram. Just get all get all into your brain and then put it all yep. on paper and then forget it all immediately. That's, That's... how I got through all of school. You mm -hmm. wait to the yeah. very last minute. I won an essay contest doing that. So, you know, it's not all bad. <laughs> hey, dude, I think that's the way to do it. I don't even remember what you had to write about. Some, did... <laughs> something about morals or something. I waited until the very last <laughs> night. <laughs> something, something about morals or something. Yeah, who, 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 I don't know. Some crap. <laughs> ethics. I just copied it from someone else. <laughs> just like whatever. I came oh, up with shit. something and then I won like second place and I like 50 bucks out of that. I'm like, Wow. It worked out. Well done. They were like, do you think well it's done. morally acceptable to take that money? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I wrote it last I, night. I, so. I wouldn't know as I just take the check and just put it away. I wouldn't I wouldn't yeah. know if, if I should take it this or not. So oh well. Trevor, you you had a real degree. Uh how many all nighters <laughs> did you pull? It. Damn. Uh, it's, it's gone now. <laughs> Like how, how many all nighters did you pull for tests and stuff? Because you, you so you had an aerospace engineering degree, right? And that was yeah. your Yeah. 
And so that to um, me is like, that's a tough major. I had a stupid film major degree. And like, I, I had one night where I, I pulled an all-nighter with some friends to, to prep for a final. And other than that, I, that's the only time I ever did it in college. I just kind of blew off everything else. But I'm curious for, for you, for someone like that, that's for an engineering degree, what, yeah. what sort of, how many times did you like really stress over something and have to stay up all night studying for a test or a final or a paper or something? Man, I broke, I broke studying down to a science and this isn't like a flex or anything. It's kind of more of a laziness, but I didn't really study ever <laughs> until I got to college. And the only reason I did was because one of my very good friends who was also in the same program as me is also in the same dorm and everything like was very motivated in that way. And so we would like mm -hmm. sit down and actually study together. Um, I can't think of a time where I actually did an all nighter. But wow. by the end of college, I figured out how to really cram in, in an efficient way because being a student is already like a full time job. But I remember mm -hmm. calculating out uh, shout out a 340. Um, it's a dynamics class. And um, <laughs> this class, I remember just this one out of the four or five classes I had was like 16 hours of homework, the homework assignment. Oh. And I don't think I have any of them saved, but I would love to show you because they're all handwritten and everything is like, I wrote very small to cram it all on the engineering paper you had to use, mm -hmm. very expensive paper. Each assignment would probably be like 10 pages, top to bottom, same as a like an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper filled with just manual calculations with your hand, wow. like anywhere between 10 to 15 pages, turn that in and it could be one problem. And so by the end of it, I had a stack of papers like this tall, all handwritten calculations. And wow. that was that was probably the the hardest semester just because of all that other stuff. As an engineer, you figure out how to spackle in your uh, general <laughs> education courses to give yourself a reprieve. Uh, yeah. Like my senior year, I, I, I think I when I came in, <clears throat> thankfully from my high school, we were able to test out of some general education courses like I tested out of uh, yeah. French and whatnot. And so those get put into your your diploma and you're like, boom, you don't have to do those. The rest of them, I like saved till senior year so I could focus purely <laughs> on my senior design project, which was a really fun project. But then I had history that year and I went to the first handful of classes all the way up to the first exam. And then after that, I went, OK, this class is I because I had already taken history like it was mm -hmm. American history. Uh, I like history, history. Doesn't change a lot. So it doesn't change a lot. Um, <laughs> and I already knew this stuff. And so I was like, this will be a blow off. class." I didn't go to that class ever again. Uh, I would go the day before the test, see what he talked about, go home, and then just like read up on those topics uh, to refresh my mind. And then like, because that's the thing is people like really stress out about cramming it all yeah. in. I think you need to yeah. figure there's an efficiency for studying. And I figured this out when I had to memorize like a three page paper on the Yeti that I wrote in like fifth grade. I figured out if you wait and you study like just like a handful of hours on and off through an evening give yourself like an hour wind down to like watch tv or just not think about it at all and then go to bed your your brain is much more efficient at encoding it over to long-term memory and so when you wake up you'll be like boom let me let me see if i can dig that out of my head da, 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 da. oh my god it's there you get your uh, mind palace my mind palace and uh <laughs> i don't know i don't just kind of rambled there but like it's oh, uh good I, I was always fascinated with the brain. If I wasn't an engineer, I would have gone into like neurology or something. And that's cool. Cause like how to study and learn. I like learning. So I want to learn efficiently. Like, how do I do that? So that's kind of where my studying went. Nice. Chloe, did you that's go cool. to college or? Uh, you, uh... A little bit. And then I didn't. Let's <laughs> 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 talk about engineering and all these numbers. I see more than three numbers next to each other and I get scared. Uh, oh no <laughs> they're here <laughs> oh, i mean that's, that's okay though like i mean college isn't for everyone like i yeah, get that like fun. i don't i yeah. like i think we've finally hit a point now where people are realizing like oh yeah maybe college isn't where someone needs to be you know it's like if you want to go there great but it's not the big thing like in australia college like very few people actually go to like go to university go to like anywhere outside of primary school and it's like okay that's fine it's just you know you learn a trade or something you become a plumber or an architect or a mechanic something like that like you can learn that with on-site experience and so getting a degree at least getting a degree in the states to me is more about just finishing like showing you can go to yeah. a four-year a four-year university and finish and walk away with a diploma like i got my degree in film and like 
Never has anyone asked to see any GPA or records or anything. But when you say like, oh, I graduated, like, oh, okay, cool. Like that, that just says that you've done that. And that's, you know, the easiest kind of lowest bar to set. But again, I don't think it's as important as it used to be. Like, I don't think it's Mm -hmm. nearly as Mm -hmm. big of a deal. I mean, especially now, I mean, in in our industry and then, you know, entertainment, it's like, I, I mean, I know so many people that I've even thought about touching college. And that's fine. I mean, you know, as long as you can show you're capable and your experience and you're willing to learn, like, I mean, I taught yeah. myself editing right. and then I took an editing class and realized like I knew more than everyone else around me. And I was able to yeah. sleep through that class. That's so. what happened to me. Yeah. That's why I stopped going. Cause I was going for like editing and digital media. And I was like, well, I already taught myself how to edit. This is just relearning. Like mm-hmm. how, what I already know. I'm like, this is so boring. And then, like, I had to take like, Microsoft Office classes. I'm like, I'm wasting Dude, my time. That, I, that well, because I went for like computer engineering, and I'm like sitting there taking like exactly like Microsoft Office classes. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I know how to code stuff. Yeah, I don't. I can make I this software, this. please. Yeah. <laughs> Right. I said ar- I said architecture and architecture is not a trade. That is something you should probably go to college for. You are correct. Colonoscopy. <laughs> Colonoscopy. Mm. <laughs> oh, I got him. All got right. him. That's a great nice. username. Anyway, no, yeah, no. Architecture, yeah, you should go to college for that. But you know okay, yeah. construction, yeah, maybe. maybe. You know, you can you can learn that on, on the on the fly. Or not on the fly, but you can learn it over. Just time, learn it on the so. fly. Just show up to a construction site. Like, I can learn, guys. <laughs> or on the fly. This Where's level, my hat? <laughs> this floor was built by my ten year old. He's yes. learning on the fly. I, I just dipping in the middle. Too much. <laughs> but if so. you have to mm-hmm. wear this mm. helmet. Anyway. Yeah, so yeah, that's cool. School, yeah. School's interesting. I don't know. Like, is, yeah. I got opinions, but, you know, yeah. whatever. I, I mean, mm-hmm. as long as you're willing to, to learn, that's the big thing. As long as you're yes. open to learning new things. Right. Like, there's nothing worse to be like, I know one thing and I'm not learning anything else. Like, nope, you should always you should always have the drive to find out more. You should always have the drive mm-hmm. to, like, want to get better in your skills. Like, even me, like, I, I mean, I got to, you know, editing was my focus when I when I graduated. And now for my normal job. I don't edit anymore. And I will, I've now lately been going through and editing just old stuff of mine just to kind of get back in the habit of it because it is a muscle. And like the less you do it, the the worse you get at it. So Mm -hmm. it's important that if you're going to, you know, if you're going to do something, do it, keep doing it. And you know, and like, just keep, keep making things. That's the big thing. So, yeah. I think the challenge is finding something that motivates you that you're deeply Mm -hmm. interested in that will accelerate your learning exponentially. I think a lot of people go to college because they're like, I got to go to college and they get in. They're like, I don't like this, but I already paid. So and that's, that's kind of, you're like, they don't this really, is the rule of it. society, right? Like this, this is, is what yeah. you got to pay for yeah. it. This is what, this well, is the thing you do, every, you know? And, and I mean, like case in point, like my degree, I, I got it. And I'm like, <laughs> I hate this. So uh, <laughs> I'm not going to really do anything with it, but mm-hmm. because I knew like basic programming from it, like I was able to put that into Minecraft and stuff that I was passionate about. It's like, I understood that that's mm-hmm. where I thought process with it. So it helped, but it is still one of those things where it's like, if I didn't find this man, I would have just be sitting there looking at this piece of paper in a dark room being like, <laughs> your money well wasted. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Matt, I like the, uh, the alternative it's a dark room. Do you not afford electricity? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, God. No, I wasted the electricity money on the paper, Jack. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you oh burn the paper for fire and more. <laughs> Temporary. How will and they light. know I, I graduated college, Chloe? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Unless they send me a new copy every time I request. Free Trevor, paper. where's your Where's paper. your degree, Trevor? Do you have did, it, Do you have it somewhere? Where is it? Um, yeah. probably at home. Like okay. home, yeah. home, where my family lives back in Indy. Where the heart is. Where the heart is. Mm-hmm. Do you have frame the anything, or is it just like? Is it just um, in a filing cabinet cabinet somewhere? It's in a filing cabinet. Uh, mm-hmm. I think it's I think it's in the the foldy <laughs> thing that it comes in. Wow. Yeah. Mine's wow. mine's right there. I'm looking at it right now. Like it's literally that's, on. It's mocking on my me. Wall. No, it's that's important, man. Like I don't know. I I put a lot of effort and work into it. It's like you know what? I'm gonna put that on my wall. Like I, I'm proud of that. So fair. That's yeah. fair. Uh, if I remember right, my degree is behind my grandmother's dining room table behind i haven't it. been there uh well yeah w- w- stuff that was important that we couldn't get rid of but we didn't really care about too much we just put it right there um <laughs> and i haven't seen it for what's the date 
87 roughly, years. Roughly like eight years, you know, somewhere oh. around there. <laughs> roughly about the time that you graduated. Yeah, I feel like you set it down yeah. once and never it. touched it. And, and then like, never picked it back cool. up. Yeah. <laughs> you can stay right there. Don't uh, worry. And I'll be back. Okay. When I, when I a, need it for a job opportunity, uh, I would get it. <laughs> just dust that off, the, the <laughs> inch of dust that's sitting on yeah. top. Oof. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Honey. I'm constantly shopping online. I don't know about you, but it's almost to the point where my bank account is starting to be a little annoyed. But hey, we all do it, and we all know the feeling when you see some promo code field and have nothing to put in. It seems like they're all always there just laughing at you. But thanks to Honey, not having coupon codes or having to manually search for them is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. Honey's probably got a code in there for you. That's right. When you go to check out, the Honey button drops down, and all you have to do is click the Apply Coupons button and then wait a few seconds as Honey searches for promo codes for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop magically right in front of you. I know I've recently, I've recently used Honey to, uh, to renew some domains on a website, and it was super easy because the little Honey thing popped up. It ran through like 10 different codes, found me the cheapest one I could use, said Apply, boom. I didn't have to do anything. It was super, super useful and save me some cash too. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in seconds. And by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. I'd never recommend something I don't use. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash off topic. That's joinhoney.com slash off topic. I love you. Uh, good. <laughs> really natural segue here. I see some folks have talked about us not being in the office. We had some technical issues. We did get our yeah, nose yeah. probed, and uh, so we got tested to make sure we're at home safely. But I got my brain um, poked. I was planning on being in the office. It was going to be my first podcast back in yeah. studio. Aww. And then, yeah, I then I you know we launched annual pass this morning, and I had some stuff I had to take care of. And then I looked up, and I was like, oh no, we're staying at home. I was like, oh mm. man. <laughs> but uh so. you know speaking of the in office experience um and also just kind of harkening back to what we started with on the podcast just talking Harkin. about heart yeah sure uh whatever uh the word is um passion projects right um you know we we have some live events coming in may that we're super excited to try out there's like uh and i won't speak too in depth about everybody else's stuff but we have a fuck face excuse me uh f face there you uh, go. uh live event we have a face jam live event a good morning from hell live event and uh and then achievement hunter has one as well and uh i'm really really excited about that uh i don't want to give too much away but it's going it's going to since we're in the office we're actually going to try to steal some of the DNA from between the games and gamify it in an interactive sort of way. So if you want to watch that, if you want to be a part of it in a way that you can engage with us as the show goes on, uh, please do so. That's uh, I think it's $20 per show, or if you want to get all four shows, it's, it's $55 uh, for the bundle. So you save a little bit. And uh, those are all going to be at 3 p.m. Central Time. I think one per week. Ours is on... Uh, oh, I had a tablet. A tab up. Where is it? You had your tablet May 7th. Up. May 7th, 7th is, is when ours is. Um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, there's also some other uh, benefits they tucked in there. Let me read this. They tucked in some more benefits too for the ticket holders, but you get like a 10% store-wide store, store -wide discount uh, for the merch that's going to come out. Um, and there's going to be Q&As, there's going to be meet and greets and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm really excited about it, uh, especially in a world where we're finally getting back to the office, finally being able to chase down some of the ideas that we've wanted to do in this past year in 2020. Uh, but also, since we can't really get out and see all of you in person just yet, this is a really nice stopgap between like digital RTX and now these digital live events that are uh, as interactive as we can try to make them. Um, but yeah, no, I encourage you guys to check that out. Uh, I think we're going to be tweeting some more information if you're really interested. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. And it should be a whole lot of fun. So maybe we'll see you there. Yeah, it's good. It's going to be very cool. I'm excited to see how we pull this thing off for Achievement Hunter. I know I'm uh, I'm helping Jeff with the face one, so uh, that should be interesting. Superfan Jack's gonna be popping in. So you can, you know, if you grab your, get the discount run, get all of them bundled together, and then you can watch all of them, so. Yeah. 
Thank you very much for all the support. We do appreciate you guys. And we're trying to do some cool, unique things as we're drifting back into the office, trying to, you know, get our feet wet again, doing more studio contents now that um, uh, most of us are vaccinated at this point. I'm fully vaccinated. I know Trevor, you think you are right. And Matt is so like we're all we're all getting there. And, you know, again, if you can get a vaccination, do so. It it makes, you know, vaccinations are free. You don't need insurance to get a vaccination. Everyone should get one. It, it's the best thing to do because the more people have it, the easier it's going to be to kill off this this virus and hopefully get us back to some form of normal. So please do that. And um, yeah, get a vaccination. It's, yeah, it's, it's what all super, the cool kids are doing. It's a super yeah. simple process. You know, they put you down and it only takes two to three hours top. So <laughs> your eyes are going to be really sore because that they got to go through the pupil. But like, well, they, gotta put the, they put the down. weights on you're, your wrist. You're out. You know, it's God. it's. It's easier than you think, and, it, and it's like a blink of an eye. So, uh, I don't think <laughs> you should blink if they're putting in your eye. <laughs> I, I, hate, I hate what you just oh, did because yeah. uh-huh. my, my grandpa yeah. literally talked about like having that done to him. Not, not wait, like wait, 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 hold on, but, like, hold on. What? what happened to your grandpa? Yeah, so, yeah, well, this, this was like a while ago, but he was just like, "Oh yeah, you know, I, I got cataract or whatever, and I gotta oh, yeah. get get them injected mm-hmm. in my eyes to fix it every once in a while." And I'm like, "In your what?" And he's like, "Oh, you don't, you don't hardly feel it." <laughs> oh no! Like, oh no, Matt, your future. Oh. I'm like, but you see it, right? And he's like, "Oh yeah, you see it coming." I'm like, "No, I feel it." Oh, then. okay. Well, <laughs> I, I would very much feel it. I, I love that your grandfather is like a prospector. He's like an old timey prospector. <laughs> oh yeah, That's me and my cataracts like, back in the day on the gold mines and whenever I do my all southern voice. Coal. Like when my like, oh yeah, hello now. That's that's my grandfather. Like a hundred percent. Like. There is no difference between me going, oh, good to see you out there now. That's my grandpa, 100%. That's Wait. that's why it's one of your go to like kind of it impressions is. because you got mm-hmm. that South Carolina and in you you know it, yeah. it's because I just think what would my grandpa say right here and then that's <laughs> I just like fall right and into it and then you say like, half nice. of that all right now, well yeah, sense. Yeah, we okay. we sense the sum I'll just I'll just say more than anything I want everyone to get the vaccine so that when we do go back to the office more frequently I don't have to get my brain poked every time we go <laughs> right just, yeah if we can get to herd immunity so I could save the you know the having to smell blood after the oh, test. No. <laughs> that no, would be dude, great. I mean, they see I Jack the coming, thing. they're like, here comes glass nose, and they really <laughs> branch up there. Basically, basically. So I'm just, this is me being selfish. Get the vaccine so I don't have to get my brain poked. I'm tired well, no, of like, dude, I had, the, I had the same thing where I got it done yesterday, and like, I don't know, maybe like an hour later, I'm like, I feel it. They pushed everything in my nose, into my throat. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, and then I woke Chloe, up this morning. No. And I was like, "There it is." Chloe, have you gotten a Have you gotten a test? Have you ever had to have a COVID test? <laughs> I have luckily never gotten the test. I got vaccinated. Oh, nice. See, my second one is this this Tuesday. Nice, nice. So yeah. I will say uh, that that second vaccination hits people differently. Like for me, I was kind of like heard. I was sort of weak for a day. Like I was like running maybe like seventy percent. It's kind of like it felt gross, and then I was fine. I've had some friends that are like it knocks them out for a whole day. I've had some people that even flinch and didn't like didn't mm. even you know have any feeling but give yourself the day to recover just to be safe yeah i'm very curious to see how my body's gonna react to that can't wait to just pass out for 14 hours <laughs> you're like you know what i've been meaning to catch up on sleep this is yeah, gonna be exactly. excellent <laughs> yeah just hit up my work like hey i got the vaccine shot don't talk to me <laughs> yeah go, go away now thank you very go much away. <laughs> dude oh, i feel man. like uh you know you know Oh, the furt bell, the serotonin flows through me. Does that end up in the episode, Ryan? Hey, let's hope so. Let's uh, at hope this so. point, I, I think Okay, now. thanks, Tyler. So, yeah, uh, so, <laughs> hey, everybody, that's the furt bell slash first bell. Uh, we want to thank all of you out there for being first members. If you're watching this live right now, thank you very much for being a first member. You being a first member directly supports us at Rooster Teeth and allows us to make some really, really cool content. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now that we're actually shooting a brand new tentpole production. Those are those massive shows that we do, like Last Laugh and things like that. We've got a really cool one we're working on right now, and we're making stuff like that for first members. So, uh, yeah, your your support allows us to do some really, really cool things like Hardcore Mini Golf, like Haunter, like Last Laugh, you know, and all of these really fun shows. So thank you very, very much for supporting us. And don't forget, if you are a first member, you get discounts in the store and you get first access do a lot of cool merchandise and you get discounts and all sorts of other good things. Thank you very much to all the first members for supporting the stream. It really means the world to us. And uh, thank you for supporting us in general and supporting Rooster Teeth. So we love you. All 100%. your beautiful, beautiful FERT members. 
Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to tell everyone we're working on a new project right now, but hey, we're working on a new project right now. That's pretty interesting. Surprise. There's hey, always something in yeah. the works, you know? True. You can just assume it. Yeah. yeah. If, you're, if you're wondering why, you know, Michael and Alfredo and like all the people who are normally on the podcast aren't here, it's like, well, okay, they're probably off filming something. So anyway, it's going to be very cool. I'm excited. I've, I've read kind of what they're doing and I'm very pumped to, uh, to see what's going to happen. Trevor, I saw we, for yesterday, we Rooster Teeth retweeted a, uh, an old weird place clip of Jeff being kind of like psychedelic for, uh, I don't know why they released it on. On or I guess two days ago on on 420, and it was uh, oh, that makes sense. it was it was Jeff being a little bit crazy. I missed the weird place so much. That was such a fun show. It was really and, good. Uh, like I just so fun more. to be a part of. Yeah, if if you haven't watched the weird place yet, I don't know if it's if it's still first only. But man, what a cool show! Like that's us working with Meow Wolf, and uh, they have the House of Eternal Return out in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I don't know if it's open right now due to COVID stuff, but. Man, that was such an interesting, unique show, and I'm so happy we got to pull that thing off. So, uh, go. Oh, Jeff mentioned it earlier today. Anyway, there you go. Yeah, Issa Ferry. There you go. So, it's not me. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to get in trouble. It's all Jeff's fault. But <laughs> go watch Weird Place, and maybe someday we can make a season two because we we had plans for a season two that I was very excited to do, and then it kind of got it shelved for now. Which, um, Chloe, you're a big fan, right? Have you watched Weird Place? Is that the one? I, I feel like I've like just thought about this recently, too. Like, you guys like went through like a hole in the wall in the office or something, and it that's, led to mm -hmm. it was our one. door. Oh, yep. Weird Place. Okay, weird the how I was door. just thinking about that. It was like, was that a dream that I had? Was that like an actual <laughs> show I made? <laughs> I couldn't even remember what it was called to look it up. I can't find uh, the tweet. I can't find yeah. it. I don't know where it came from, but it was just like a, a clip. Maybe it was Instagram or something. I don't know. Instagram. Oh. There we go. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, Omega Mart was fun. Oh, have you been to Omega Mart? That's the new. That's the new one in uh, Vegas. So Meow Wolf just opened right. up their second location in Vegas right now. And uh, also, we found out Meow Wolf did a theme park attraction in Colorado. They actually did a dark ride in Colorado at El Elich Gardens, which uh, I have to go check out now. What's so. a What's a dark ride? A dark ride is a slow moving ride. Um, if you ever ridden like the like the Winnie the Pooh ride or old school Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, what, Peter Pirates Pan, of the Caribbean, really? Uh, Pirates is, is that, a little is bit more too... elaborate than a dark oh, okay. ride, but okay. um, typically it's like just a real, it's like a flat surface. Uh, it's just a little car with has maybe two people. Like Haunted Mansion is like an extreme dark ride. Um, I would say they're more usually simpler rides in my opinion as a dark oh, okay. ride. Um, but I thought yeah, maybe it was like was, um, like a ghost a kitchen where where a brand acts or, or, or basically partners with a, another brand to like create. I think like Mr. Beast, right? He's got like those burgers and it's a ghost kitchen mm -hmm. because somebody else is doing the, the infrastructure uh, and he's slapping his name on it. So I thought maybe like, oh, ghost kitchen, dark ride where Meow Wolf slaps their brand on the infrastructure of like, you know, Cedar Parks or something. And I they have did. a ride or something. I thought yeah. you were just going for the ultimate discovery show, Ghost Kitchen, where they have the ghosts from Ghost Adventures try and cook oh. like various dishes. Ghost Kitchen, <laughs> try it's, and cook. it's amazing <laughs> that you stumbled into something, Matt Bragg, because Ghost Kitchen, we're gonna do tune it. into Face Jam's live event. I'm telling you, uh -oh. Matt, I feel like you've, uh, oh, uh, really? cryptomnesia is what that's called, where you recalled something that you knew, but you, you forgot you knew it. Bold of you to mm. think I was ever told. <laughs> Roll of okay. that I listen. <laughs> but yeah, no, Ghost hmm. Kitchen uh is is uh their live event. Oh. I'll let you I make of that what you will. You'll have to tune in. You'll have to tune in, everyone. <laughs> oh, are the walls getting starts. bigger? Or are you getting small? I don't know what he says. Uh, there are no windows and no doors. Um man. I want to go to theme parks so bad. Mm -hmm. Dude, same. Yeah, I want to go to yeah. theme parks. I, I, I'm working on something for annual pass right now that I don't think I'm not going to announce it yet, but don't, I've got something very, very cool coming up that I, I, once I get the thumbs up all clear to start talking about it, oh God, I can't wait to yell from the rooftops about it. I'm very, very pumped. We've gotten a lot of real good support about the podcast already, mm -hmm. even before the first episode hit, but we've had a lot of people reaching out to us and saying like, how can we work together? What can we do? Um, mm -hmm. I had a gentleman by the name of Dave Cobb. Uh, someone put me in touch with him. He's the guy who designed the Men in Black ride at Universal Studios. Oh, I love that awesome. ride. 
such a cool ride. And so he worked on it and like, he actually just did a, a recent interview with, uh, there's another podcast called park stop and they're a great podcast. And he did like this hour long interview talking about it and like talking about going and meeting Spielberg. Cause at that point, Spielberg had sign off rights on all of like everything in the park. And so it was like him pitching this ride to Steven Spielberg. And I was like, Oh, that's so cool. And so anyway, we're going to have him on at some point to talk uh, more about theme park stuff, but I want to get further away. Cause like, he, he just did that interview like two months ago. I'm like, I don't want to step on other podcast toes. I'm like, let me, we'll find our own spot. And so, um, anyway, I, I'm, I'm excited, but I mean, like things like that are already popping up. We've had so many people email us already. Like I worked at this park and I want to tell you about it. And that's part of what I want to do with the show is interview people who worked on the rides and people who built them. And, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pumped to see the, the response already. And every, everyone's very, very excited for it as far as I can tell. And, um, and I, I hope it lives up to expectations. <laughs> That's all I can say. It is weird. Trevor, did, did you, when you started doing Red Web, did you like go into it? Like, are you nervous every time you do an episode still? Like, or at least like the Not beginning now, of it? But yeah. I absolutely was in the earlier days because, you know, I had a very concrete vision of what I wanted it to look and feel well not look like but feel like when you're listening to it and uh and uh, i've definitely relaxed on that as we've we've tested and tried very subtle format changes mm -hmm. and uh the feedback has been tremendous through all those pivots and like uh ebbing and flowing with different energies um but yeah i mean like i was very nervous about it because i didn't know how people would re respond to it i didn't know uh if this would belong anywhere like i don't know i was just like because I care a lot about it. I care a lot about yeah. everything that we do, but this was like my particular uh, brainchild, right? And so, yeah, I think that's that's normal. That's natural. Well, yeah, I mean, even like when you, when it's something is, when you own it, like when it's your baby, it's mm -hmm. such a different vibe and such a different feeling than this kind of like being a part of someone else. Like I, I talked about this yesterday when we were streaming, but like even off topic, like to me off topic is Michael's show, you know? And so mm -hmm. I can jump on to this and be like, whatever. And I come in, you know, pretty fine, but whenever we do a live show, I typically live shows are sort of my thing. And so anytime, like every time before we do a live show, even now, after we've done like 20 of them, I still get like butterflies in my stomach before we go on stage for the first time. And it's I like that feeling. I like that sense because that means I'm passionate and care for it. And so I'm still like we've recorded five episodes of annual pass already. And every single time I'm like, Oh, my gosh, like, how can I make this better? What can we do to improve it? And already, like, even now that we've just released the first episode, we've refined it a little bit as we've made a few episodes, kind of feel like, okay, this, maybe this doesn't work exactly like this. Let's try doing this. Let's add this here. And and it's interesting how it's it's fun to sort of meld and mold things into what works really well. And again, it's it's really cool seeing the audience finally respond to it now. And already I'm like, okay, I hope they like the changes we've made. <laughs> you know, it's yeah, dude. coming up. But, you know, we'll find out in four weeks from now. And so that's, that's the hardest part is the, I'm so used to something like this where we're live and I can look at chat and I can see people talking and be like, Oh, okay. They don't like this or they don't respond to this, but doing a podcast is, you know, it's, it's a different be or doing a recorded podcast is such a different beast. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm glad I'm not, I'm, I'm not the only one in this boat of like, um, like have tons of nerves still going into this thing. And I just yeah. want to make it the best thing I possibly can. Well, you know, like Christian and Nick, Christian is our producer for uh, Red Web. He's fantastic. We also have Jillian and we have Maite, who is an intern with Broadcast. We have Nick Schwartz, who is on uh, Face Jam, obviously, as, uh, you know, I don't know if, anyway, I don't know what, it, like the, the monkey, right? Whatever. The, um, so he's on that <laughs> show. Sauce, uh, sauce Monkey. Sauce Monkey, yeah. right. Um, the guy that collects sauce, how could I forget? But anyway, he, like he's the one who who edits it, and there's also Brandon uh, who edits it as well periodically. But anyway, like the the whole team really helps bring the whole thing together, and I, I the podcast would be nothing without them, um, helping with the research and Nick editing it down, and like the music cues help elevate everything. Um, so <laughs> I was there in the early days to really like give some of my like thoughts on how things should go, and then uh, Nick and Christian have really picked up where i was thinking and like we all got on the same page and now they've helped elevate it to the next level and so like i think part of like that's been a huge part of me being able to relax and like kind of uh get a little less nervous about it because i know i'm in good hands and i don't have to like uh obsessively like watch over this thing uh so much um and so i think that's what's kind of helped relax the nerves a little bit because i still yeah. like I can still definitely like go, uh, is this, is this, is this sounding right as I'm doing it? I can start like hearing myself as I'm talking. Um, yeah, it's interesting. 
Yeah, and it's it's I mean it's fun, and I'm so happy that we can finally like we're getting to the point now where we can sort of take on these passion projects and make what we want to make and make some really cool things. So, Matt, when is your podcast coming out? Dude, I I don't know. I thought about it the other day. I was like, I could talk about something, but all I like is video I games. Like that's about something. That's, that's like <laughs> the the biggest thing that I really do is just games. And I was like, maybe you could start. Start a podcast with Chloe about General Grievous. <laughs> Dude, I could okay. talk about General Grievous for a while. There you I go. could too. Let's do it. All right, I'm, I'm down. Dude, character like a All character right. breakdown, just like like the biography or the podcast version of a biography for like characters in geek culture. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my well, god, I, mean, that's I love that shit. Like, I, I, really I listen like, to that personally. Like I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really mm -hmm. like looking at like the lore for a lot of different like games and yeah, movies and stuff like that because like games that do a good job building their world it really it boosts everything about it like yeah i may be just running around like shooting stuff like but left for dead's a great example of like the entire lore is built around everything you're doing like you you see mm -hmm. it all around you mm -hmm. so it's it, it's it's cool it's like you really could have, cool a, you have like a multi, multi i mean like dozens of episodes of just the lore behind assassin's creed yeah exactly you can <laughs> you can seasons. Look, like yeah okay. you could and then then you like, could go even, into like call of duty zombies there's a mm -hmm. huge lore behind that that i don't even understand like, like there's think, tons of think stuff. of the 50 mm -hmm. part kingdom hearts one like oh my god it, it would be so so long please but, matt uh, do that yeah. do that leg work for me because i don't know uh, i don't know <laughs> I don't any, of it. any dude, of it make I, it I, easy I, i'm crying I, I know like oh dude there's no making it easy make that, it not, easy not for that one. <laughs> The, 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 like the, one folk, the one person that can make it easy will be a millionaire. There you go. That's true. Boom. <laughs> the guy who made it's like, there will be no millionaires. <laughs> I know this. <laughs> bada boom, bada bing. So, okay, oh, Chloe, what's, what's your Grievous podcast going to be called? Uh, general information. <laughs> That's a good one. That's, that's good. General that's information. Good. What is this? Lori Beth uh, Dimberg's show? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> general yeah. information. With general Chloe. information. <laughs> our favorite general. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. About our favorite general. All right. Yeah. I, I, just, I, I like leave I it to that. the grieve. I, yeah. And leave it to the second, grieve. Um, <laughs> the second episode's about the general, like that one insurance company. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, old guy. Him. that one old guy. He's got a backstory oh, right I'm sure he's think, got war stories. Think of the crossover, though General Grievous and the general, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's man. just i want to see that tv show yeah we made this podcast the so we could get you can get sponsor. online use the yeah. lightsaber exactly. and stab them in the spine <laughs> give me that disney plus series mm -hmm. what if it's uh it's just like general grievous uh grieve with us and every episode you really just <laughs> lean into the negativity of the world and you just kind of like okay. really like, simmer in it right you just let it yeah. breathe okay. And okay. at yeah, the we very really end, bask like, in that negative energy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At the very end, you're just, just like, <laughs> as our as our good friend General Grievous would say, <laughs> yeah. just start crying. The, the, the yeah. vibes are horrible that. here. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> the, the name of the podcast like, is just the sound of a wet cough. That's yeah. all. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> How do you type that out? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Anyway. Oh, oh no. man. Um. <sighs> Trevor, I was gonna say, oh, you are. Yeah, oh, your camera's dead. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, oh, you're, yeah frozen. You're, just, you're frozen. Yeah, you're frozen, man. Your camera's. Yeah. No, I know. It's. Uh, no, I'm no, I'm fine. Jack's Look fine at for me. me. Look at me moving. Jack's alive. Hey, everybody. Trevor oh. is completely oh, disconnected, Trevor's which connected. means. <laughs> well nice. if you're if you're watching this live right now you're like how come we can't no. hear trevor it's because he's it's not impossible current. you'll hear it in the recorded episode don't worry yeah. so but until then until trevor reconnects to we're our, to our call right we're yeah. talking to ghost which so is that's another podcast coming out soon talking to <laughs> talking to ghosts talking it's to a ghosts. little one-sided at first but uh occasionally we'll you hear a word or two yeah. absolutely <laughs> yeah. very, very very spooky so uh and well, Chloe, what, what do you got coming up? Any anything interesting happening in in your realm anytime soon? Oh, jeez, oh, I don't think so. <laughs> he, he really he really puts you on the spot with all did. this. Like, what are you doing? Like, huh? What are you doing? Uh, talk, I don't know. Talk about you. When I when I do uh, stuff like this, I'm like, oh, that's pretty exciting. Other than that, I'm like, uh, 
got nothing. I'm like, back to normal stream. Boring, do you have a Do you have a set streaming schedule, or do you have like a uh, just kind of whatever you want to? How does that work for you? I try to stream on at least Mondays and Fridays at like. 5 p.m. Central, and I say like I'm gonna stop streaming on Wednesdays, but ever since I've said that, I've streamed on every Wednesday since. So Monday, <laughs> Wednesdays, and Fridays. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. All um, right, all right. You you directly go against yourself. Where you're like, exactly. I'm not doing that, but I'm but if I did that, about that, but and then I do anyways. Nice. So. Yeah. I think we got Trevor back. Trevor's hey. moving. Oh, now he's quiet. Now he's he's, he's not making noise in Discord <laughs> for some reason. Nope. He's <laughs> making what? Oh God, what is that? Okay. Oh no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I figured all Jesus. the extra tongue flailing would would indicate <laughs> who no. speaks like that. <laughs> <laughs> Trevor's been you know possessed by a pug or something. Um. What were we talking about? I totally, I'm, I lost I don't my know. track. We I was going to say Trevor something like, I didn't want to flatten Chloe down to a one-dimensional grievous stand, but then That's we started right. talking about other things. That's fine. That's <laughs> I what like that. I am anyways. I think Just she... a one-dimensional one grievous stand. That's it. That's all I am. That's the name of your podcast. So <laughs> <laughs> I like that like yeah. really energetic yeah. thumbs yeah. up. Really? Oh, my God. Yeah. I've got one personality trait, and it's love and grievous. <laughs> <laughs> at least that's what i'm known for so yeah, it's fine uh, carry on that brand oh i see the whole chat going there's no audio <laughs> no. <laughs> um i had something i was going to talk about and i've totally oh, oh yeah hey next so next wednesday uh next wednesday we are having game changer day here on uh on the achievement hunter side of things actually it's going to be on rttv so starting at one o'clock central all the way into seven o'clock central we're raising money for game changer charity it's an awesome charity i've been a, a big fan of for a long time we've done some stuff in the past with them but we're going to be raising some money for those guys including we're setting a stretch goal uh, i still need to make sure i need to make sure it happens but we're setting a stretch goal to do something fun with off topic at some point i'll have more details as soon as i get the all clear from john mace to make sure we're allowed to do it uh but yeah if you can tune in next it's going to be next wednesday from one until seven central achievement hunter chump funhouse all uh all is going to be supporting our game changer charity friends so uh check that out next week if uh if you want to watch on wednesday uh uh april 28th 2021 so there you go that's my, my charity uh spiel i wanted to get out before we finished off the podcast so thank you for watching and all all of the good things I can't believe April's already almost done. Like, this is another yeah. month in the what books, man. <laughs> can we can it we get the hell out of home? Long. Can we oh go back God. to the up? Can life return? <laughs> Let Tune me in next week house. and find out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we almost we, did. We, we almost went back to the office tried, today. It's been two oh, weeks that we true. we've tried to leave. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the I'm telling the you office. that we've got a curse on us now. You know, there's mm -hmm. this there's a show uh, that I teased last week on on the podcast that we are trying to film. Uh, that's bringing some old DNA with some new DNA on the series level. I don't know, whatever. Uh, so I'm excited about it, but it's been like four or five weeks that we've been kicking it down the road to record it just because of tech issues or whatever. Uh, so I'm hoping that next Thursday we can. Uh, have get back in the office and actually film it or we're, the curse continues hmm okay hey, can you keep okay. Going? i'm trying to think if i know what you're talking about <laughs> that's uh, we've we have so many different productions happening right now that it's just like wait what is this so like, what's going on it's and... goopy it is. oh okay oh uh, yeah. okay i know that one yeah very, very goopy <laughs> That'll make that's one eventually i get maybe. it that makes sense man i will say uh we're moving into new offices at at uh, at the our our campus, our Rooster Teeth campus, and uh, we've got a new we got a new space. And I was excited to get in there and start planning it out. And then someone decided to take three rooms worth of shit and put it into one room, and now we have no space. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> all of like we were gonna we were gonna plan it out and make it look all nice and rearrange everything, like get it all set up and then bring all the stuff in. And nope, nope, someone decided to go ahead and just just a dump a dump trucks worth uh, of uh this boxes and computers and monitors and chairs right to where we were gonna walls. build everything yeah. <laughs> oh man it's like well that feels very achievement hunter appropriate i suppose uh, it's fine though <laughs> i was talking to johnny mace and uh 
they're, they're probably like there's a lot of the post team stuff is in that area so they're gonna yeah, like get yeah. those into the the editing annex and then we uh we've got our new desks ordered so like he, i think they're gonna set it up it so thankfully okay. it's on top they're on top of things but yeah we just happen to go in in that it's, moment it's when like, oh, you, you guys were gonna like all right let's feel out the layout and then yeah. the, the place was filled with all of our crap just all of it what? I mean, I'm excited to get back to the office because oh, yeah. we are moving into a new space, but also, I don't know if we've talked about it, but we actually, we're building out an entire space just for Achievement Hunter streaming. Like, we mm -hmm. have an entire separate room. Like, we had back in uh, back in our old studio, we had a room kind of set up for it, but it was sort of, we sort of shoehorned kind of what we wanted to do into an area. Now we're building an area out yep. entirely for streaming. Oh. And it's going to be awesome. We have a lot of room. Uh, it's it's you know, it, it's, it's going to be very, very cool. And Fredo and I are already looking at it like, okay, what can we do with this? And I'm 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 pumped to get in there and actually get getting things going in. I I love arranging stuff and getting setups going and cable managing and we're gonna do all of that and make it look really cool and hell yeah. I just want to be I I, I want to be back in the office before it gets too hot because my 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 office I'm in now I have a window that mm -hmm. midday the sun just starts hitting it and this room gets so hot and I'm like Ugh. so I <laughs> yeah. bought like a portable air conditioner just to keep this room cooler during the day but it's like i don't want to have to do that i don't want to have to turn this room into a work office for two years so mm -hmm. uh, and i just want to i just want to see you guys i miss you guys yeah. i miss looking over and seeing it seeing trevor and seeing that <laughs> and then looking I at a still, monitor of chloe somewhere i still think <laughs> yeah. about seeing you at heb jack <laughs> I was trying out. I bumped into you at HEB. It was, it was, he was oh. real. He's still alive. I know. Yeah. Oh my God, a person. I bumped into you at HEB. I bumped into Sarah at HEB and someone else. I bumped into Nick, uh, Nick, broadcast Nick at uh, at Costco the other day. I was like, he was wearing a 100% Eat shirt. I'm like, that's funny. That's a, Oh, that's Nick. Yeah. Hey, man. So. And if you kept your social distance, you wouldn't be running into anybody. Dude, you, you well, got a well, shop. You got to go to grocery stores. Come I on. was yeah. making a joke about physically running physically into people because you said bomb, bitch. Yeah. It's just uh, a bad pun. It's, it's gone, just so. a bad no, pun. Uh, oh, yes. Obviously, humor. you need to go out and it. shop. I'm not saying nothing about that. Uh, but anyway. Oh, man. Okay. Jack's just like ramming into people. <laughs> it's just <laughs> slamming. I know you. <laughs> hey, do I know you? Hey, do I know you? Just personally I, I, running to people. I will, I will yeah. admit, like, when I, I realized it was you, I was like, I want to like hug him, but we can't. We can't do this. It's, uh. Yeah. Starcross. Yeah. So instead, yeah, so that was it. Like, oh, you kissed. Oh. It, it well, is interesting now. Like, you the know, the masks are still there. Like, we're starting. Like, Katie and I, we have some friends that are like fully vaccinated now. So, like, we're slowly kind of expanding the groups of people we actually will hang out with. And it's like, oh man, like this having that weight lifted off your shoulder. It's like we're still not fully like let's go to the mall like we're not doing that yet we're not really eating indoors at restaurants yet and you know anytime we do go out obviously we still mask up i mean you still want to do that but knowing now it's like okay i know other people that are fully vaccinated and like i'm starting to feel more uncomfortable about or more comfortable about getting out and actually returning to some kind of normalcy so it's it's so nice it's it's good you'll, you'll be there chloe soon one day i believe one, day. <laughs> <laughs> one year as matt says yeah one year You'll see. One year. Yeah. One year. It'll, it'll take In a little bit of time, yeah. but give it time. We'll get to normal okay. one year. Yeah. All right. We should probably start wrapping up, right? Uh, yeah. I think so. Feel right. Uh, yeah. I feel like we're uh, drifting. A post to do too, right? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, we've got to do yeah, a post show for all, all the first all the Furt members. Hey, don't right. forget Furt members. Grab your shirt right now. We have the, the Furt, Furt shirt. shirt. Furt shirt okay. in the store. <laughs> While you're there, grab yourself an annual pass shirt too. Um, if you want to, if you want to support us, uh, and again, uh, buying merchandise, that's one of the biggest ways you can support Rooster Teeth and the projects you like. And also like specifically, if you buy something like an annual pass shirt, we can point to that and be like, look, we sold merchandise. You should continue to give us a budget. So, uh, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to support shows, like buy like the red web stuff, like you guys just restocked red web stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, you guys flocked out for that task force stuff. So thank you so much. Uh, but as Jack said, flocked truly out. Yeah, 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 flocked out. It's what the kids are saying now. Came out in a flock. Um, listen, Jack, I don't know what the phrase is. It just it quit giving me grief. I'm an engineer, not an English student. Uh, but but the, like seriously though, um, you know, being a first member, like we're, I'm really happy that we can offer so many. Am I camera blurry? So many like benefits, uh, like watching things early and having exclusive stuff. But like that and sharing our content 
organically like word of mouth when i see yes. everybody tweeting it and making fan art and stuff or or simply buying the merch whether it's for like achievement hunter or annual pass or for rt core or, or whoever um all of that stuff genuinely genuinely does really really help um and and i don't know there's no real way to to say that without being cheesy i recognize that but but i i try to point that out every now and then because um as one of the people that sees like the PLs and all of that it it like it really does like help years like 2020 uh be a little less rough for us as a as a team and as allows us to continue doing what we do um in an otherwise difficult time so yeah keep keep doing the thing and and thanks yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you so much thank you so much for the support and love like we wouldn't be doing this stuff without you mm -hmm. uh, without an amazing community supporting rooster teeth we would not be here now we've been here for over 18 years at this point which is bonkers to me mm -hmm. we've got many fans who are fans of our stuff that weren't alive when we started the company like Chloe. I'm over 18, I swear. 12 year old Chloe. <laughs> well, I am a child. 15 year old Chloe who yep. took time from recess to come join us for off topic oh. today. <laughs> <laughs> recess. I gotta get back to class. Um. Chloe, if people wanna follow you, if they, if they wanna see your stuff, where would they go watch you? You can find me on every social media platform. That's Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, if that's your thing. I'm Echo Clo everywhere. Awesome. Thank you very much for joining us today. We love having you on. We'll have to play some more games. Play some Battlefront yeah. with you soon. Absolutely. Maybe a, maybe maybe a get good or something. You can coach us. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> it's always a good time. And I'm excited for, oh for your podcast with Matt. It's going mm -hmm. to be a good one. It's going to be good. So it's gonna thank be great. Thank you very much, everybody, us. for tuning in Off Topic today. We love you. Uh, yeah, hopefully next week we'll be back in the studio again. Well, the plan was today to be in the studio, but hey, then, you know, things happen. So here we are. But I'm glad we're able to continue doing what we're doing and uh, we're quick on our feet like that. So thanks for watching our stuff, supporting us. We love you. Have yourself a great day and we'll see you very soon. Bye, everyone. Quick on my feet. Bye. 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 <laughs>